This is a short video demonstrating the basic uh, principles of track construction. Uh, I've just uh, acquired this piece of half inch chipboard, 32 inches wide, one third of a, a large sheet. And the uh, first thing is to put a, a quick coat of uh, white emulsion on it so we can see where we're marking out. And uh, also, if you make a mistake, you can uh, paint over it and uh, erase it. The paint's dry now, but it has uh, raised the grain a little on the board, so I'll give it a, a light sun. First stage in marking out would be to uh, mark out the outside line, usually a minimum of an inch and three quarters. Um, and then three and a half, we usually go between the two lanes. Obviously we're not having a uh, pit lane here. Um, if you're having a pit lane, you'd need to allow wider space for it. Mark this out each end and then draw a straight line for each lane. Then in the centre here, mark out the uh, ends of the radius, uh, at least a couple of inches in for the outer lane, and then at least five inches in for the inner lane, and something like three eighths of an inch, nine mil in for the, uh, the racing line. Mark a similar distance in from the outside of the board. Two there and then back to the three and a half there inch. Then measure across to find the radius. For the inside lane. Twenty one and a quarter or fifty four centimetres. 54 centimetres across, so we need half that 26. Mark 26 centimetres on the travel there. And then you need to make a hole in the right place. This is a pretty old, pretty old travel, made quite a few tracks. We've set the travel now, and it's now a question of finding the the fulcrum point has to line there, line with the inside of the track there, and with the inside lane there. Still got a little, a little tweak if necessary, just to adjust it. Make sure it just, just touches the, the lines there, and then we can draw in the inside lane. Now to mark the position for the lane change point, uh, the lines uh, leading out of it, the lanes leading out should be two millimetre apart. So the logical thing is to is to actually measure and find a point where they are two mil apart, and then draw the line there. Then mark off something like. Uh, you say 40 mil. The gap in the wire needs to be at least 40 mil. There's nothing fixed about this. Um, it's a good average spacing here. What you've got when you put the plate in here, the little gaps encourage the car to actually turn, and the the, the space here is greater than the lane than the lane change plate, and the little gap actually lets the magnet go and encourages it and you can vary this little gap here uh, to, to it increase the lane changing action or decrease it so you can always actually take a little bit more out of the wire if necessary to increase the turning action.